السلام عليكم دكتور ماي نيم از سلمان احمد معلومات كل نمبر از 195580 وي ار ان جروب 9 My name is Rafi Fadila binti Jimmy, Patrick number 198699. My name is Nora Aini Nashafrina, matrix number 197080. My name is Mama Hasman, Mama Muslim, matrix number is 198554. So now I'm going to talk about uh, experiment 2, which is uh, bump test rig. Uh, in general, that uh, the bump can be defined as a mechanical device uh, when it's interested in, uh, into a baby line. First, the mechanical energy supplied to it from an external source to hydraulic energy, resulting uh, in a lower liquid from uh, flow from uh, a lower probability to a higher probability. The objective of this experiment is to determine the pressure, speed, flow rate, and energy. And as we know that we have, uh, if we want to use uh, experiment one and two, we have to. Uh, if we want to do experiment one and two, we have to do uh, to use. Bob one, and if you want to use uh, experiment three, we have to, uh, to use uh, bump two. And uh, as we know that uh, the goals of the, this experiment uh, is to test the bump by using speed, flow rate, pressure, and energy. The objective of the experiment is to measure the amount of heat produced by a pump at different pump speed and different volumetric flow rate. And the second one is to analyze pump mechanical efficiency. So the theory slash background of this experiment is um, since we are using the pump rig, uh, there are three pumps uh, and we are only using one, pump 1 and pump 2. Pump 1 is a single stage pump while pump 2 is a multi-stage pump. While the fluid that we are we are we used is uh, only water and even though there are two choices, which is water and also uh, oil. So these are the four equations that we will be using in order to convert uh, the result that we have recorded to the unit that is desired in the table because the unit that are on the machine is not the SI unit. So we will be using these four equations. So basically P is the pressure and Q is the volumetric flow rate and uh, this little n is called the efficiency and HL is the heat loss. Okay, uh, so basically multi-pump test rich have uh, three pump which is a centri centrifugal pump, plunger pump and gear pump. Uh, in this experiment, we, we are used two pump only which, which, uh, which are centrifugal pump and plunger pump. Okay, the equipment uh, on the test is is water tank which store water, oil tank, store oil, centrifugal pump that is used to transport fluid by the conversion of rotational kinetic energy to the hydrodynamic energy of the fluid flow. Plunger pump is a type of positive displacement pump. Geo pump used to pump fluid by displacement. Potential meter used to control the speed of fluid. Pressure gauge to measure the pressure and Check valve are uh, used, uh, used to adjust the water flow rate. Uh, okay, so the equipment actually works. First, uh, water flows from the tank to the pipe and enter the pump one, which is the centrifugal pump. And then the suction pump will suck the water into the centrifugal pump. Centrifugal pump used to flow or reach the liquid from a lower level to higher level of fluid. Okay, so the liquid will be discharged out from centrifugal pump and flow through the pipe and go to the sensor. Okay, the sensor, uh, the sensor will detect the the flow rate and the pressure of fluid. Centrifugal pump is a type of pump that flow the fluid in a steady state flow. So the fluid that uh, just that go through the valve will enter to the tank again and the fluid will circulate again. Okay, uh, in this experiment, we have uh, three parts of the experiment. First is part one, which is pump performance at a different pump speed. Part two, pump performance at a fixed pump speed. And part three is efficiency comparison between single stage and multi-stage pump. Okay, uh, how to measure and manipulate the parameters. Okay, so uh, in the the multi pump test rate have four components to measure the fluids that 
flow through the pump 1, 2 and 3 which are flow rate, speed, power and head pump so part 1 uh, uh, potentiometer which is control the pump speed is directly proportional to the flow rate in this memory we use uh, the speed which are uh, 1595, 1428, 1278, 1131, 962, and 826 RPM. Okay, for the part 2, the pump speed are fixed. So we adjust the check valve that control the flow rate into several values that are 75, 65, 55, 45, 35, and 25. Okay, uh, and lastly for the part 3, to compare the efficiency between single stage and multi stage pump, we use pump 2, which is the plunger pump, by set the speed control potentiometer to the minimum value, which is 800 rpm. The flow rate that we get for pump 1 is 62.1, compared to, to the pump 2 is 11.2%. This shows the centrifugal pump is more efficient than plunger pump. Next, this is the graph of total heat against water volumetric flow rate. This is the first curve, which is at the different pump speeds. When the volumetric flow rate increases, the pump heat will increase. And this is the second curve, which is at the fixed pump speed. When the volumetric flow rate increase, the pump heat will decrease. So based on the graph, the, base, the best operation point for the pump is at 0.0573 meter cube per second and 158,000 pascal. So based on the part 1 results, the liquid flow rate and pump heat decreased as the pump speed decreased. And this is because when the valve is closed, flow decreases because pressure drop across valve increase. And this will, and this will cause uh, the total heat of the system to increase as well. For the, pump, for the pump efficiency, pump efficiency is basically the ratio between the pump power output slash input and it can be determined by two parameters which are heat loss and flow rate. Uh, to compare the pump efficiency at both cases, uh, case 1 which is operated at different speed has higher pump efficiency than in case 2 and the speed is in case 2 is fixed at maximum value but lower fluid flow rate percent is obtained compared to case 1. For uh, the comparison between multi-stage and single-stage pump, Theoretically, multi-stage pump is said to have a higher efficiency than single-stage pump. However, the results that we obtained shows that single-stage pump has the higher efficiency. And this is the reason why uh, multi-stage multi pump is said to have the higher efficiency is because it allows smaller diameter impellers. So the results that we obtained may have uh, diverged a lot from the theoretical uh, experiment, the theoretical uh, results, and this is probably caused uh, by the um, unstable, the flow rate, which is not stable throughout the whole experiment, uh, as it kept as it kept changing, and also because probably we did not close the valve tight enough, and all of this. Errors will cause the results to have a different value from the theoretical results. The objective of this experiment is to determine operation characters uh, of different pumps in a containment unit. This experiment was about how to use the type of pump that responds to uh, a single stage horizontal centrifugal pump. And I was in this investment, some, uh, some principal pump too. As I mentioned before, in this experiment, uh, we have uh, two pumps. Uh, one of them uh, is a centrifugal pump, and uh, the second one is a single state. During this experiment, we can compare between them. Uh, 
for example it can uh, be concluded that the single stage horizontal centrifugal pump uh, has a higher flow rate and speed along with the lower pressure and energy uh, uh, and another one is a single stage has uh, uh, has a low flow rate and speed but uh, with a uh, higher energy and flow, uh, flow rate depending on the result and direction of the graph of this and uh, that's all thanks doctor